In the not-so-distant future, there lived a brilliant yet enigmatic man named Shaziz. His curiosity about the fabric of time was insatiable, and his mind was a labyrinth of ideas and calculations that often confounded even the most seasoned of his peers. Shaziz was a theoretical physicist who had dedicated his entire life to the pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of time travel. One fateful evening, nestled in the dimly lit confines of his cluttered workshop, he stumbled upon an astonishing breakthrough. It all began with the discovery of a peculiar mineral, dubbed chronosteel, which he found during a clandestine expedition to a long forgotten cave deep within the Amazonian jungles. This mineral had properties that no one had ever seen before. It was capable of bending and warping time around it when exposed to specific electromagnetic frequencies. The moment he laid his eyes upon the glowing metallic veins of chronosteel, Shaziz knew he had found the key to his life's work. He devoted countless hours to studying its properties, often to the detriment of his personal life and health. His friends and family grew distant, and his colleagues began to question his sanity. Yet, driven by an unrelenting obsession, he persevered. The first prototype of his time travel device was a monstrosity, large enough to fill a small warehouse and powered by a generator that hummed with the intensity of a thousand bees. Over the years, through tireless experimentation and the fusion of quantum mechanics with ancient mystical texts, he refined his creation. He discovered that by harnessing the energy of micro black holes and the principles of quantum entanglement, he could significantly reduce the size of the device. After countless sleepless nights and a series of near disasters, including a cataclysmic implosion that almost sent him and his workshop hurtling through the fabric of space-time, Shaziz finally succeeded in creating a time travel device that was mobile. The finished product was a sleek, compact sphere no larger than a watermelon, with a polished chrome surface that reflected the glow of the chronosteel core within. The device was named the Temporal Orb, and was powered by a microscopic black hole enclosed in a chamber of pure diamond. The user would interface with it through a wrist-worn contraption, a sophisticated blend of high-tech circuitry and intricate ancient glyphs that served as a time compass of sorts. The wristband would analyze the wearer's thoughts and intentions, allowing for precise control over the destination and duration of their temporal journey. But alas, with great power came great responsibility, and Shaziz knew the potential consequences of his creation falling into the wrong hands. He vowed to keep the temporal orb a secret from the world, using it only for the sake of science and knowledge. He embarked on a series of clandestine adventures, witnessing the birth of civilizations, the rise and fall of empires, and even glimpses of futures that lay centuries away. Meanwhile, in a world much like our own, yet vastly different in the laws of the universe, time travel had been discovered. It was an era of great innovation and curiosity, a time when humanity reached for the stars and sought to bend the very fabric of existence to their will. The discovery was made by a group of unsung heroes, scientists and engineers working tirelessly in a top secret government laboratory. They had stumbled upon a way to manipulate time itself, creating a device they named the Temporal Conduit. The Temporal Conduit was a marvel of technology, a shimmering, crystalline construct that hummed with the power of a thousand suns. It was the size of a room, with a gleaming metallic core and a series of interlocking rings that danced with the colors of the spectrum. The day it was activated, the lab was filled with excitement and anticipation. The air crackled with energy, and the very walls of reality seemed to bend and stretch around the device. The first few missions were successful. Historical artifacts were retrieved, lost knowledge reclaimed, and great figures of the past met without any disturbance to the time stream. The government, seeing the potential for this newfound power, funded the project with unprecedented resources. They sent explorers to the distant past and future, and soon the secrets of time were laid bare before them. But with great power comes great responsibility, and humanity was about to learn that lesson the hard way. As the time travelers returned from their missions, they brought with them not only the spoils of history, but also its consequences. The very fabric of time began to fray, unraveling like an old tapestry with each passing day. Paradoxes, anomalies, and rips in the space-time continuum began to appear, 
threatening to tear the very universe apart. The government realized that they had played with fire and now faced the potential of burning down the cosmos. They gathered the best minds to find a solution, but it was too late. The damage had been done, and the consequences were already unfolding. Historical timelines shifted, and with them, the very essence of reality. Some changes were minor, with only a few lives touched by the alterations. Others were catastrophic, with entire civilizations erased from existence. The public grew fearful as time itself became unpredictable. Panic swept the world as people awoke to find their loved ones changed or missing, their histories rewritten. Governments crumbled and chaos ensued. In desperation, the leaders of the world came together and made the most difficult decision of their lives, to outlaw time travel forever. They established the Temporal Accord, a global treaty that banned the use of time-manipulating technology. The temporal conduit was dismantled, its components hidden in the most secure vaults across the globe. The scientists who had discovered it were sworn to secrecy, and the very knowledge of its existence became a legend whispered among conspiracy theorists. But the damage had been done. Time continued to buckle and fold in on itself, and a new breed of criminals, known as time pirates, emerged from the shadows. These rogue individuals and organizations had managed to create their own crude time-traveling devices, seeking to exploit the chaos for their own ends. The Temporal Enforcement Agency, TEA, was formed to combat this new threat. Agents trained in the delicate art of temporal navigation patrolled the time stream, hunting down the pirates and repairing the timeline. In the early 20th century, the discovery of time travel was hailed as the greatest achievement in human history. Scientists from every corner of the globe had long theorized the possibility of bending the very fabric of time itself, and when the first successful time leap was made, it was as if Pandora's box had been flung wide open. The world watched in awe and wonder as the implications of this newfound power began to unfold. The initial excitement was short-lived, however, as governments and international bodies quickly realized the potential dangers that accompanied such a monumental invention. The ability to alter the past could lead to catastrophic consequences, unraveling the very fabric of existence as we knew it. The first decade of time travel was marked by chaos and confusion as various groups vied for control over the technology, seeking to rewrite history for their own benefit. In 2025, a clandestine organization known as the Temporal Anomalies Prevention Agency, TAPA, was formed by the United Nations. Their mission, to monitor and regulate all time travel related activities, ensuring that the integrity of the timeline was preserved. But the temptation of power was too great. Governments, corporations, and even rogue individuals sought to manipulate time to gain an edge over their adversaries, leading to a series of disasters that would come to be known as the chronological crises. The most notable of these was the Great Deviation of 2030. A wealthy industrialist, desperate to preserve his family's legacy, attempted to alter the outcome of a pivotal stock market crash from the early 20th century. His actions inadvertently set off a chain reaction that nearly plunged the world into a second dark age, where technology and civilization regressed by several centuries. It took the combined efforts of Tapa and an assembly of time-displaced heroes to correct the deviation and restore the timeline. The aftermath of the Great Deviation was a wake-up call. The world could no longer ignore the risk. Shaziz, the enigmatic hero of our tale, became aware of the chaos caused by the misuse of time travel technology. His conscience, driven by a deep sense of responsibility for the power he had unlocked, propelled him to act. He knew that the future of humanity depended on the preservation of the delicate balance of time. Emerging from the shadows of his self-imposed exile, Shaziz approached the Temporal Enforcement Agency, EA. He offered them the use of his temporal orb, along with his unparalleled expertise in temporal mechanics. The TA, recognizing the potential of such a powerful ally, accepted his offer. Together, they formed a covert branch of the agency known as the Chrononauts, dedicated to tracking down time pirates and safeguarding the integrity of the time stream. Shaziz, now a renowned Chrononaut, became the linchpin of this elite team. His knowledge of the timeline was unrivaled, and his ability to navigate through the tumultuous waters of time with precision was legendary. 
The TA agents were in awe of his selflessness, as he used his creation not for personal gain, but for the greater good. His wisdom and guidance proved invaluable as they faced off against the ruthless pirates and the ever-evolving perils of time itself. The temporal conduit, once a symbol of human triumph, had been reduced to a shadow of its former glory. Its disassembly had created a black market for its components, fueling the insatiable greed of the time pirates. The Chrononauts' missions grew increasingly perilous as they pursued these outlaws through the annals of history. Each encounter with the time pirates revealed a new twist in the fabric of time, a fresh challenge that demanded innovative solutions. Shaziz, with his unparalleled understanding of time and its nuances, became the heart and soul of the Chrononauts. His empathetic nature allowed him to understand the desperation and motives behind the time pirates' actions, and he often sought to offer them a chance at redemption. Many pirates, once caught in the act of plundering history, were reformed under his guidance and went on to become valued members of the Chrononauts, using their unique skills to protect the very timeline they once sought to manipulate. The world remained blissfully unaware of the silent war being waged to keep their reality intact. The Chrononauts operated from a hidden base, a bastion of order in the sea of temporal disarray. Each member was a testament to Shaziz's vision a diverse group of individuals from various eras and backgrounds, all bound by a common purpose. As the years passed, Shaziz's legend grew. He became the Gandalf of time, a wise wizard whose presence was felt but never fully understood by the public eye. His battles with the most notorious time pirates, like the elusive Captain Paradox, were recounted in whispers within the hallowed halls of the TA. His ingenuity and bravery became the stuff of legend inspiring a new generation of scientists and heroes. One fateful day, the Chrononauts received intel of a time pirate operating on a scale never before seen. This new threat, known as the Chronovore, sought to devour entire moments in time, leaving gaping holes in the timeline that threatened to swallow the universe whole. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, Shaziz took it upon himself to confront the Chronovore and restore the balance. The battle was epic, a cosmic dance of time and space. The Chronovore, a monstrous amalgamation of stolen temporal technology and dark energy, writhed through the time stream, leaving destruction in its wake. Shaziz, armed with the temporal orb and his unshakable resolve, pursued the beast through historical epochs and futuristic landscapes. Finally, in a climactic showdown in the very heart of the space-time continuum, Shaziz outsmarted the Chronovore, using its own hunger for time against it. He sacrificed a fragment of his own lifeline, creating a temporal singularity that consumed the creature, restoring the erased moments to the tapestry of time. The act took a toll on him, aging him significantly, but the timeline was preserved. In recognition of his heroic deeds, the TA bestowed upon Shaziz the title of the Guardian of Kronos. His likeness was engraved into the annals of history, not as a mere footnote, but as a beacon of hope in a universe that often teetered on the brink of collapse. The legacy of Shaziz lived on, inspiring a new generation of chrononauts to take up the mantle. His temporal orb became a symbol of hope and protection, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, one individual could make a profound difference in the grand tapestry of existence. And so the good doctor, now an aged but venerable hero, continued to advise the chrononauts from his sanctum ensuring that the power of time remained a force for good. His tales of adventure and wisdom were passed down, a reminder that in a world where the very concept of time was both a tool and a prison, it was the human spirit that truly held the key to the future. Now that you know the truth, get your finger out of your nose and move out of your mother's basement. Stop thumbing down Shaziz's videos before he goes back in time and marries your mom therefore becoming your daddy, wherein he will blister your behind and send you to military school. Take this advice and get a haircut and get a real job. Get that hog ring out of your nose and get to work, you jive turkey. That clown-colored hair dye makes you look like Bozo the Clown's Apprentice. It appears to be funny, but it is not you look stupid. Pull up those trousers and buckle that belt or wear suspenders. Nobody wants to see where you didn't wipe. Furthermore, learn proper English. You sound like a buffoon. 
If you made it this far, unless you want Shaziz to be your daddy, then give this video a thumbs up. If you do not like this video, then watch out for the time pirates because they will be coming to get you. Remember that missing sock and all those other mysterious disappearing items in your life? It sure wasn't a kleptomaniac tooth fairy or Santa Claus or even any of his elves that made off with them. Get your act together or else be prepared for a colorful reality. Last thing is this, stop believing everything you hear or think you see this world is not, nor has it ever been what you think it is. Get over yourself and do something good for others for a change. It is not all about you and it never was. Shaziz man has spoken, yo.